Yes, it's another grip for the Fujifilm X-T4, but this time it's an L bracket. And there are a few differences that make this number from small rig worth taking a quick look at. Let's see what we've got then. As with the others that we've tried and used, both the base plate and the side plate are Arca Swiss compatible, which I find very convenient for quick tripod work. In fact, also convenient, the L plate features multiple quarter to 20th threaded holes on the side and bottom for accessory attachments like this, that I've already taken out of the box, the HDMI cable clamp, which to be honest is pretty cool, very handy, very well made. Let's get this in place first of all. There's actually a nice little notch there on your T4 that lines up with that bit on the grip. They've thought of everything. Right, so we're in. Now we need to tighten it up. Let's do that. Tightened, tightened, and you're back in place right there. Now I'm not a huge fan of this kind of look, but I still think it's kind of cool. That makes sense. The wood is nice. The whole thing feels absolutely solid. There's some nice little touches around here. But yeah, good solid deep-ish grip. Now as boring as grips are in the world of camera gear, there are two features that I think make this stand out from previous grips that we've looked at. One of them, I don't know if you spotted it, is this here, which you can turn and then adjust the L plate. That side plate can be extended 26 mil if more room is needed for tethering or cable release. Of course, you're probably gonna to wanna to get rid of the doors or open the doors to be able to access everything, but it's very, very practical. I hadn't seen that on grips I looked at before. The other one, as you'd have already seen, we've got a built-in flat screw driver, which attaches itself there magnetically, and that is a solid, magnet so that's built in that'll help you assemble or disassemble the L bracket quickly of course it's no good for the other screws but we did get a allen key for that i was kind of hoping that the allen key would have a place to live in this after all that but no joy also we've got a groove there for a hand strap it's very well thought out bit of kit this. I am impressed with it. Small rig, I don't know if it was marketing or what, but they, they always seem to have some really cool bits of gear, you know, the boring stuff, but well made. And I gotta be honest, yeah, I think so. I think it's very practical, very useful, very well built. And that's about it really. Ah, but there is one other thing. If you go on the small rig website and you buy it there, for an extra 77 pence, you can change the text logo, which is very, very cool. Now I don't really like logos at all. I'm gonna give that a pass because it's a handy feature for centering. And there's also a centering mark there as well. So that's pretty cool. But this thing, I don't normally like that. I normally give them a pass because it is what it is, but you can change that for very little money. If you are gonna buy it on a small rig website, as usual, just check your delivery charges, import charges, and see if it's worth doing it over buying from a place like Amazon, as I normally do. Still very, very nice touch. Basically, the grip feels good in the hands. Very well built as we said, some real nice touches. Yeah, this one might just go that extra mile and keep you happy. That's if you're happy with this design. Hmm. But we do have the other version from Small Rig to look at, so we'll be doing that in another video.